Hey guys, welcome back to Up to Level 6. This is Adam, and uh, we are just going to discuss today real quickly um, how to uh, drag uh, MP4s into Resolve 12.5. Um, I've been uh, running around YouTube just checking out the new, um, you know, uh, the new things that are in 12.5, and in doing so, I've noticed in the comments that a lot of people are having trouble uh, importing MP4s. Um, some aren't. Some can do it just fine. I'm, I'm one of them. Um, I'm not sure what the problem is with people that are having trouble, but I figured I'd make a video because I kept telling people how to do it, and they're like, it's not working, so I'm just going to make a video and show it, and then if there's a problem, it's I don't know what it could be, a million things. Uh, feel free to email me, and I'll be happy to try and help you out if you can't do it after watching this video. But um, it's really as simple as dragging and dropping. So we're going to open up uh, Resolve. 12.5 uh, should have done this first and uh, then I'm just gonna really just gonna show you how uh, <laughs> I try to get drag it in there There's really not much to it to be honest with you but I'll go over a couple tidbits here so that you know maybe we'll learn a little something so here we are in the main uh, you know if you I'm assuming you know resolve a little bit um, and that you understand basic uh, you know computer uh, so, um, you know, this is just to show you how to ingest MP4. Now, this is the module, media module, that you would um, do the uh, um, the importing and ingesting. I think I might know why some people have some problems. We'll go over in a second. And then, you, of course, come here to edit color and then to uh, export. But media is where we want to bring it in. I'm going to bring in drone footage that I have here, which is uh, H.264. Um, it is from I'm going to my DJI vids, which uh, these are all of my, uh, here's a couple MP4s, okay? Um, now, you can see their videos. And um, their H.264 flavors of MP4s. Now, let's remember that MP4s and MOVs are not codecs. They're formats that have files in them that, are, that have codecs. So... Um, you know, there could be a H.264 MP4, there could be a DNX HD MP4, there could be a, a, a totally uncompressed Avid MOV or MP4 or whatever. Um, each one does, there are a couple codecs that don't go in a couple of them, but anyway, MP4 is compatible pretty much with everything because Macs are compatible with everything and um, MP4s are stemmed from, from Windows machines. So there's no reason that everyone shouldn't be able to bring in MP4s and uh, I, I, I usually use MP4s or MOV. Um, but if you're a Windows user, you're probably using MP4s and DNX to HD versus ProRes and MP and MP MOV. So anyway, um, it's as simple as dragging and dropping. And then since this is the, actually a new, a new uh, project, it's going to ask me if I want to change it to the settings of, uh, of, of what I just brought in, which uh, um, is, you know, the H.264 codec that I said that all of the drones use nowadays. So if you have a, uh, if you're a drone user and you have any of the prosumer and even what some people consider professional, like the Inspire, which is only professional to me if it has the X5R because then it could shoot raw in the form of uh, Adobe uh, Cinema D, uh, uh, so Cinema DNG. Uh, anyway, let's not get off topic and stay here. Okay, so you saw that I just ingested an MP4 file, which is playable. It's a little uh, um, sluggish, and the reason it's sluggish is because it's an MP4. And it's also in Resolve, and Resolve hates H.264s. Um, excuse me, not MP4, because it's an H.264. H.264 is a very compressed file, and so in order to see it, it has to um, it has to sort of unravel it. That's why I always suggest upresing. And this is the little extra tip, so it'll make it five, four or five minutes of video instead of twenty seconds. So I might as well learn something. I always upres to. Um, to uh, ProRes, you can use DNX HD or whatever, and you'll see that it plays better. And the reason it plays better is simply because, even though it's a larger file, it's not having to figure out things because it's it's not an H.264 all 
you know, with the zeros and ones removed in order to make it smaller, to make it more compressed, it has some negatives. And then one of the negatives is that it's not good for color correcting because you don't have a lot of color space. Um, so, you know, if you want more room for the color, you would then go to, um, you know, uh, ProRes or DNX HD or any sort of, or even animation or whatever it is you want to use. I always use ProRes 422, not HQ, not, you know, just ProRes 422, unless you're using an alpha channel or something like that, works great. Um, to show you that that media does work, I'll go to the edit module and we will start a edit. I'll bring in I'll bring in the H two six four one even though it doesn't like it. You can see even how slow it it, it even forms the uh, and I have a very very fast computer. Some computers wouldn't even play this, um, although it is bogged down right now and needs to be rebooted. But you can see that even the H two six four plays a little chunky. And if you're not using a, a computer like mine, which is you know my, my computers because my VFX artists are you know, supercomputers. But um but you'll see again if I was to bring in the the uh ProRes footage, watch how much smoother it plays. See how much faster and smoother that is? That's because it's ProRes. Alright? Um so I have a whole discussion about formats and and, and, and encoding and all and you just check out my videos and and uh if you want to learn all about that, I'm not going to bore you with it, because um, I already did. <laughs> but anyway, there you go. There you have it. You can see that MP4s are as easy as dropping them in as that. Now, here's what I think some people might be doing. In I think it started with 12. I'm not really sure. I'm, I've only been using DaVinci uh, Resolve. Uh, recently for my color correction needs uh, for digital needs um, so I don't know when it started doing this but I heard that it's fairly new now it's got an area for timelines so right now if I'm in my timelines uh, bin it's only my timelines and I can't bring an mp4 so what I'm thinking is is that maybe some people are starting a timeline trying to bring in an mp4 because that's what they're doing and it's like, hey, it doesn't take MP4s because they, maybe they started with an MOV. You know, that would represent maybe 10%, which would be a lot of people, you know, because there's a lot of comments. And every now and then there's someone that can't bring an MP4. Well, you have to go down to your master bin, and then you can bring whatever you want, as many as you want, in, and it will, you know, be there for you. So, um, hey, that's my feet. <laughs> um, so there you have it. MP4s are easy as dragging and dropping. Make sure that you're not in the timelines um, bin because it won't let you bring MP4s in the timelines bin. If I had multiple timelines, it would have you know all the timelines. But I can open up the timeline there, and then I can go back. And so that's all that that is. That's it. And um, if you can't bring it in for some other reason, I don't know what it is. So just uh, email me, and, uh, and I'll be happy to help you figure it out. Um, otherwise, thanks for uh, checking in. And I only made this video because I, of all of the people that were asking me when I said, yes, you can bring in MP4s, I've gotten like 50 emails <laughs> from people asking me, how do you do it? How do you do it? And uh, I figured I'd make a video and link it in whoever else is you know, making the Resolve videos. Whenever I get that question, I'll just link to this. Um, and then I'll delete it because it's, uh, <laughs> it's pretty boring. Well, anyway, thanks, guys. Take care.